Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the continent of Gormont. Just tech in that music, and just in case you were wondering, yes, the Titans, the continents, are actually designed after animals. Each one is a living, breathing landmass, full of its own inhabitants, its own civilizations, its own colonies. Everything in all rest lives. And yet, for some reason, I cannot appreciate this particular scene because it's gloomy. Oh no. Oh no. Big bird. Big bird. Over affectionate mud. I don't know why I said it like that, but let's just go with it. Okay, so it's weak to ice. It's level 18. It's a unique monster. Challenge that thing should you feel brave enough to do so. But otherwise, please don't if you would like to keep your head. In the meantime, let's continue. So, we have people here. Let's talk to them. No, 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 no. Put your weapons away. <sighs> Crisis avoided. So that's lighter. This is Kida. They will both give you a side quest later on. many different shapes and forms. Mithra is one example, Jin is another, but this is known as your common blade. So this is Kida. This is Lighter's blade. Uh, she's just one variant of what the common blade can look like. Yay! 
Carrying on, we have Azar. Selzer's Towels. Uh, not a unique monster, but can be a bit tricky to defeat. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. I thought they were gonna swoop. Oh, look, an ether miasma. Hey, how you doing? I can see an ether miasma from up here. No. All right, I hate doing that. I always forget to put my weapons away. Makia. knows a thing or two about a good scrap. If your name started with an X and you had an S at the end of it, your name would be an anagram for man sex. And also men sex. And also it would be Xemnas. Kingdom Hearts, anybody? sense of justice we can take care of it if you want thanks jim but i think i got this one covered no we don't need to set it as an active quest because this one is insane it's probably one of the few quests we're not actually going to complete the suspense is killing me basically what it involves is us trying to find 70 red pollen orbs. Yes, 70 as in the number that comes after 69. The suspense is killing me. The suspense is killing me. Hey, hey, he's got a new skill. Kina. Mithri, get up. What are you doing? Dozy. Meh.
Stick to the road if you want to live. Okay, okay, let's do it. Hey. This is becoming addictive. Overfectionate mirth. Do not look at me. 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 I don't like it. Like it. Do not look at me. I don't like it. No, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. Please don't do it. Go. <laughs> fight me. Ow, I'm on way over here and you're going to do that. You don't fight fair. Okay. So you see how we've got the red circle around us? That's the aggro. Now, Adam's got it. Swap into Jin. Two. Three. Is this just going to be a thing? One death an episode. No way. No. No. Revenge. 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 We could do revenge. 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 Together. 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 We could do revenge. 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 Revenge is sweet. Stop. Come on. Aha, you've been broken. Now we'll get some good stuff happening. Ready? And go. No, we were so close. Oh, we could have had that then. I'm so sad. I hate when that happens. Right. Nice. Hey, HP potion, HP potion. Give me, give me, give me, give me. No. Right. I do not care. We will kill these pricks. We can take them on a bit later. It's good to no. know your limits now. I don't know the meaning of the word give up. Well, first of all, that's two words. Second of all, I'm a dumb person. But hey, can't blame a guy for trying. So, run away. And for some reason, that connects. Come on then, big boy, let's go. Let's dance, boy. Right, so, I'm going to run this way. You're going to turn and look at me. Adam, you can run behind it and get Mithra to swap in and attack if you want it. Right. You read my mind. Right, I'm gonna do this. Nice, okay, good. Yeah, this is fine now. This is fine now. We've got this. Yes. Come on, Hayes. We got it. 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 Right. Come on, Laura. We did it. That. We got there. Right. Now that I got revenge. Now that I got revenge. Now, we'll carry on. I just want revenge. Becoming addictive. I was always raised with the belief, if someone puts their hands on you, you put your hands back on them. Okay, fine, I wasn't. I was always taught, you know, just be nice, be kind, be friendly to everybody. But there's only so much that you can do when people start being a cow weird. So, fight me! Fight. You Happy snake peach. Let's go! Oh my god. Right. One. Two. 
three. Oh yeah, shit. Two, three, right. Nice, very nice. Swap to Haze. Yes. This is good. This is very good. That was so close. <sighs> the HP literally dropped to zero. Practically. I'm something of an expert. Are you really, Hayes? Are you really? I mean, you're the only person who can use forestry, so that by default makes you both the best and the worst at this. And fight the noble Aspa. Let's go. Yes. Right. We're being attacked from behind. One, two, three. Attack. Special. Nice. Done. Right. Hey, we got level up. Right. Yeah. Right. So remember how I said my main goal was to get best girl and best boy from this game on our squad by the time we wrap this episode up? Well, let's just head over that way. Hold on. Hi, Tones. That's the thing with Xenoblade. If you can see it, you can pretty much go to it. So, uh, obviously there are a few exceptions, like, I don't know, the head of Gormot. But I mean, like, generally, when, like, you're in a big, expansive field like this, usually what happens is, you know, you can... Leanne Meadow. You can usually get to a lot of different places. Oh, <gasps> campsite. Well, here we are. I say we rest. You're coming with me. Who's it, treasure? First things first. Let's have a chat, shall we? Damn, they're so good. The camping screen will be closed and you will rest until morning. Is that okay? Yes. So, remember how last episode I was talking about how camping works and the campsites and then they got the tutorial and then all that other stuff happened and then I said, oh, by the way, you can also accrue bonus experience. This is the bonus experience. So we are actually getting a nice cheeky little level up. So we're going from level 14 all the way to level 16, and Adam is going from 13 to 15. 
What an incredible Yay. feeling. So, we finished leveling those two up. Now... Now what's going to happen is, we're going to finish our main story quest. So, let's go. But first... Miasma Slayer. So we have to kill the wolfy thing. In he gets to kill the cloud. Okay, so we'll take care of this quest as a side quest, right? But we'll not do that straight away. Instead, we're so close to Tor uh, Torm Torna Torigoth that I think we should just focus on going there for now. So Yay! Ooh, treasure trove, gimme. Gimme! Yay! Okay, so the archway is there, that's the entrance. Uh, one last battle. Come on, ring her out. Fight me! These guys should be no problem. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna run around this way, and oh, you're yeah. gonna draw the aggro. No. Oh, we were close. Oh well. Nice. Oh my god, everybody's just talking. Big yikes. So, characters. Jin. Affinity chart. Good. Hey. should be good. Mithra. Nothing. Okay, two out of three ain't bad. Okay, so. Check on Adam's affinity chart a second. So 511, right. Bulking up, Bonds of Friendship, Skyrender. Ooh, Skyrender. That's a nice name for a node. Right, uh, let's use an art after canceling into an art, 1,250. We just need a little few, 700 skill points. That's fine. 449. Packs of punch, blah 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 blah. Allows you to use the art sign to B. I think it's this one we want. Let's use art uh, after cancelling. Yes, we need that one. That one is our priority, and that one is a priority. But other than that, I think everything's going well so far. So I'm just gonna save one more time very quickly before we head into big story dump for the day. Let's go. Here's Torigoth. Here too. Gormot's an attractive target, but this... Whoever did this clearly had no compassion or respect for the people they killed. 
Well, whether it was Malos or someone else, either way, clearly they're all toast. Mithra. <laughs> Laura. It's... it's okay. Mother could have run away somewhere safe. to tell me twice. I'm something of an expert. Fresh graves over here. This kind soul must have dug them all. <sighs> What's wrong? Should... Should we maybe bury him too? Yes, let's.
I'm something of an expert. It takes time and effort to get this good. It takes time and effort to get this good. I'm getting sharper, keener. This one's second nature to me now. When you've got it, you've got it. When you've got it, you've got it. This one's second nature to me now. When you've got it, you've got it. Surround them. Ardanian troops, Imperial Guard, thieving scum. Don't think you're gonna get away with your dirty deeds. What? No, we just... Problem, Captain? Girl has arrived, Lady Bratchett of the Ardenian Empire. Oh god, I didn't say anything the entire time because oh my god, it was just so sad. But then the Scottish people started talking, and that was it. I lost my shit. Wait a second, right? So she's fire element, so let's go attack weak to water. Hitting an enemy with a special begins a blade combo. A blade combo consists of three stages, and finishing it requires you to move through them in order. The first, second, and third stages of a blade combo require you to hit the enemy with a special that's at least level 1, level 2, and level 3 respectively to link them up. We are still learning things about the battle system, and oh my god, get off my back! Get him! As is the case with RPGs, you usually want to just take out the... You can also link up other team specials. When a team can use a special, a combo request will appear on the screen for you to give them the order. Think carefully. You can continue a blade combo all the way to stage 3 with specials of any element in this game. Torn of the Golden Country. Not in base Xenoblade Chronicles 2, it has to be very specific with the element that you pick. But this one's a lot easier. As long as you keep the as long as you keep to the level requirements, but there are some fixed groups. Firewall to fire, for instance. Or 
Um, I'm trying to think. Ice, ice, wind, possibly. Either way, that's just off the top of my head. These critical roots number 16 in total, and they're composed of a particular sequence of elements. For example, one such root is fire, fire, light. A finished critical root will trigger a special animation and cause extra damage. So be on the lookout for the other 15 special element sequences. So we've already got ice, so I'm gonna use light, and that's gonna come in at level two. In that case... Yes, we got the smash, nice! Right. Celadon Whirlwind. No? Well, I guess I pressed it too early then. One, two, three. Okay, swap back to Jin. Yes! It bounced! I need to wrap this up before Lord Hugo arrives. Absurd. It's called tactics, look it up. But perhaps that's something a simpleton like yourself could never hope to comprehend. Uh, a simpleton? Your attacks scream it. Clumsy, heavy, no refinement. Uh, I was gonna go easy on you, but now, now you have pissed me off! Uh, Mithra, stop! We've got children here! What was that? If that had actually hit me. Oh, <laughs> didn't like that, did you? I can see it on your face. Well, on that note. Mister! Hayes! Understood. What? How? Is this you? What the hell? She's our enemy. Adam plainly ordered you to stop. Or didn't you hear him, Simpleton? How extraordinary. I'd heard of a blade with the power to restrain others, but I never thought... And did she say Adam? It can't be. All of you, lay down your arms. There is no need for this. Hello?
It's good to see you again, Prince Adam. Please forgive the actions of my guards. Don't you worry about it. I am just glad to see you well, Your Imperial Majesty. Imperial Majesty? May I introduce the Emperor of Mor Ardain, Hugo Ardenach. The Ardanian Emperor? What's someone of his station doing out here? You know, our stations are fairly similar. Not that you'd ever know. Thanks. I try. I've come for the Aegis. Its actions have been felt in Mor Ardain as well. We're currently chasing it down. The same as us, then. But coming here yourself... My brother is ruling in my absence. I see. And so you brought Brigid and Aegean. Huh? Those two are the crown jewels of the Ardanian forces. Wielding them on the front lines is the duty of he who has the throne. Indeed. That ought to have been my older brother. But he didn't have the potential to become a driver. And now, here you are. Bonded with both of them. The Special Inquisitor is under my brother's direct command. Oh. Should I fall in battle, he has his orders to retrieve the core crystals. That sounds cold. That's how it goes with matters of state. And yet, it works out well for me. I have always wanted to put myself on the line for our people. And I never enjoyed wielding authority in the first place. I feel the same way. I don't get why anyone would want to sit on a throne. Yes, that. If Prince Zetar knew, there would be consequences. Let's pretend you didn't hear me say that. You two will never see eye to eye. Better to leave well enough alone. Ruling is, frankly, it's a scary thought. Just imagine becoming someone you don't recognize. Never knowing who's looking back at you in the mirror. Prince Adam, I'd be happy if you called me Hugo, like old times. I will, dear Hugo, but only if you call me Adam in return. Well, it would be beneficial to share our findings, but perhaps elsewhere might be better? How about your Majesty's flagship? Indeed. Flagship. Is something the matter, Lady Laura? I I'm just not very good in that kind of stuffy environment. Oh, well, you're not alone there. That's the worst. Right? I think I'll sit this particular venture out. Yeah, I'm out too. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Is that her? Yes, this is Mithra, one of the Aegises. <sighs> Your account would be valuable as well, Laura. Everything I've seen or heard, Jin will know as well. Uh, uh, yes, that's true. Please, would you go instead of me, please? Of course. I will do as you wish. Thank you kindly. Well then, shall we?
Main story quest. Power unimaginable. Said this is the active Ugh, quest. We're such sad. Over the side quest that we had. And our party formation has changed. Team Laura is now solely comprised of Jin. Team Adam is comprised of Adam and Mithra, and best boy Hugo, and best girl Bridget, and best... Designed by Yusuke Kozaki. Aegean. Yay. Well, I say Yusuke Kozaki did best design, but I mean, I'm biased. He does amazing artwork, and the pose that Aegean is in is actually a nice little throwback to Fire Emblem another Nintendo franchise, uh, Krom, the main character from Fire Emblem Awakening. Yay! Anyway, Team Hugo, best team, I don't care, but we're still playing as Team Laura. Yay! I could, if I wanted to, swap uh, any particular team, but quite frankly, oh, actually, you know what? Seeing as we're only playing as Jin, I am actually going to swap. Best boy! You've unlocked the ability to change party order. To do so, go to main menu and then characters. Then press X and choose which team you want to control. The team in position one will be under your direct control. Every team has its own style of doing battle, so feel free to experiment with them until you've found one that best suits your preference. Additionally, you can press ZL outside of battle to change which team you control directly. It's a rather useful feature, so feel free to play around with it. Just one more note about level 4 specials. The technique for driver and blade sharing one weapon is a unique innovation by Laura and her companions. Therefore, if you're controlling a team other than Laura's, you won't be able to use level 4 specials in battle. But who knows? As the adventure continues, Adam and Hugo may pick up on this skill too, one day. Oh my god, the foreshadowing! <sighs> Until then, do your best working with what you've got. So, we've got Hugo Ardenach, and we've got Lady Pratchett of the Ardenian Empire, and we've got... Aegean, who's very cool and likes the time. See what I mean? He's totally awesome. It seems amazing. We stare. But Bridget. Girl, don't act like you ain't enjoying this. Shut up. You know what? I'm not even going to finish that. Hugo, our good boy. And I do actually want to pause. Go to Quest Log. And go to Dock the Miasma Slayer. Set that as the active quest, and continue. Yay. I think this will be fun. And this is going to be the last thing that we do, because I just want to test out Hugo and Bridget's powers in battle. I've always wanted to do that. I love, I've always wanted love to do this. the Scottish accent. High key, Scottish is one of my absolute favourite accents to do. I can't even do it myself, but I give it a bloody good go. But I do give it a good go. I do. Anyway, so, isn't this fun? Here we go. We are having a look at this. So remember how we were talking about attack blades, healer blades, and tanks? Hugo is actually a tank driver. He focuses on defense. Oh, smart. And if an enemy's toppled, Hugo can swap into Bridget and launch them. One, two, three? Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Best girl, go. Nice. What an incredible Very good. Ah, uh, yeah. Mithra's MVP again. I beg to differ, because to me, it seemed like they had you surrounded. Huh? No way. I wiped the floor with them before you could even blink. We've enough fighting to be getting on with, Mithra. Do we really need this petty rivalry? Ooh, yeah. And before I just go into about with this has been a Ferris, can I just address two things? One, the whole thing about drivers and blades being bonded, right? Okay, so basically, if a driver dies, a blade goes back to being a core crystal. And if a core crystal gets damaged, then the blade is pretty much fucked. So you kind of get that. And then one last thing I want to say. You know, when she were getting called a simpleton, I'm on about Mithra. 
It sounds one, it's like it's one thing when Bridget called her a simpleton, but it sounds so much more acidic when Laura just goes, Adam plainly ordered you to stop, or didn't you hear him? Simpleton. It's like, you dumb bitch. In the name of the Emperor, you Oh, good God. Let's do this. Right. Two. Three. No. I need to find out who goes to type pack. Hold on. Right, so it's one, two, three. So his upward slash is his third one. Okay, right. It is time. Magnificent. What are you doing? Ichiyan, go! Hugo, go! Nice. So, Adam, think you understand how to fight alongside me now? Nope, no clue. I have a long way to go before I can measure up to her ladyship. Let's just kill this last one. Three, two, one, fight me. Let's go. Right, so Bridget breaks and Hugo's got a topple art. Okay. Right, so I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Uh, wish me luck. Go. Right, so we'll use Vault. Yeah. Okay, right. So, let's head back to Dark and we'll call it an episode. Brilliant. This is going to be a cow to edit because we, well, I've been recording for like two hours now and holy crow, there's a lot of voice acting to go in this one. So I'm probably going to end up splicing this down. Hopefully it doesn't end up lasting two hours. So, Doc, what you got to say? So, Doc, the Miasma Slayer, complete. I'm glad we could be of help. So there we go. We did a thing. Uh, I'm going to back out of this very quickly. Yes, I will. Thank you. Ah, see, 
even if you go into the camp menu, it does automatically advance the time as well from day to night. So, uh, characters, Hugo Ardenach, Lady Bredjed, key affinity reward. Think of the possibilities. Level two, Aegean. It would seem I have much left to learn. Jin. My gym voice and my Aegean voice are basically the same. I'm sorry, but that's just how it goes. I don't make the rules. Mithra. Hey, if it makes my life easier. And then we've already had a look at Bridget. So. Ooh, weapon modification. And try to pop the pain. Right, so, Hugo. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Right, uh, guard arts. Nice. Shield bash level two. The Come culmination on. of years of sovereignty. I'm love. I shall aim ever higher. The culmination of years of sovereignty. I shall aim ever higher. I would like that, please. With this power, the way is clear. The culmination of years of sovereignty. Oh, there we go. We did good with that. Okay, so his switch art, sword strike, physical on target, if, ooh, inflict smash. So if we've got the launch, then Hugo can swap him from whichever blade he's using and smash. Brilliant, right. And Adam. Yeah. This one's second nature to me now. Yay, and that's it. Right, okay, brilliant. Now I'm just gonna finally, Hugo and Bridget's trust is up at rank D. If we just have a very quick look at craft as well. So, Jin, as we established, does home cooking. Um, replica artifact making is Adam's specialty. Craft precious items that come in handy while exploring. Creative cuisine for Mithra. Craft power items that can improve your battle capabilities. The most obnoxious desserts you will ever get to eat. Hugo, machine tinkering. He's a bit of a tech person. He's our resident techie. So we have uh, Bridget who deals with perfumery. So just go back to machine tinkering. Craft precious items that come in handy while exploring. And also there's one instance where it will totally come in handy when we are questing. Mithra, create power titans that can improve your battle capabilities. Kind of similar to Laura's charms. Uh, refined cuisine. Again, another cook. So we've got Mithra who does desserts, Jin who cooks, and Aegean who cooks. Craft power titans that can improve your battle capabilities. But of course, it's not the same meals that each of them makes. Like for Allow instance... Allow me to demonstrate my skill. Ruska dumpling soup and Ruska veggie hot pot, whereas Jin... Don't spoil your appetite before I'm done. Oh, devil baguette and survivalist sandwich. Sandwich! And each one of course has different battle effects. So, let's have a quick race and then we'll pack up for tomorrow. Everybody can level up, aside from Hugo. So, the future is within our grasp. If he'd have said the future is ours to decide, I would have lost my shish. More honed with each day. So we finish leveling up. Hugo and the Gian have got rank D trust. Yeah, nice characters. Aegean. Nope, not you. Yay. Right, use Cascade Smash. Story progression. Use that raised affinity in combat. Raised affinity in combat five times. Nice. Uh, finish an enemy. Uh, he has to be the one that delivers the final blow. Uh, use specials to participate in a chain attack. Chain attacks are a thing we are going to cover down the line, and when that tutorial comes up, yes, we will go through it. And then we'll evade an attack 15 times, and we will have unlocked all of these nodes for Ichian. And then for Bridget, Wheel of Penance, Story Progression, Beltane Blade, evade an attack 10 times, uh, help an incapacitated ally receive a certain amount of total damage out of 20,000. So, you know, previous instances count towards total. So, you know, obviously she's not got 20,000 hit points, but, you know, once we've took that much damage, we will gain that node. That's kind of how the game goes. So, that is everything for today. That is going to be me calling it an episode, and we are going to pick up where we left off in the next time 
on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna, the Golden Country. And of course, if you've liked everything that you've seen today, then please feel free to press like, press subscribe, and I will see you very soon. And hey, if you haven't watched the first episode, please go check that one out too. After all, it did premiere, and it's up on the channel, and it did really, really well. <laughs>